China says it welcomes international astronauts to conduct research at its space station. Over the course of three decades, Edward, we have seen China and Russia move so close together. And now they are working hand in gloves. In the vast expanse of the final frontier, China has emerged as a pioneering force, propelled by its unwavering dedication to scientific progress and technological prowess, fueled by a steadfast commitment to the exploration and utilization of outer space. China has forged strategic alliances with nations that share its vision of unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. China's space exploration allies, including Pakistan, Russia, and several African nations, stand shoulder to shoulder with the Middle Kingdom, propelling the boundaries of exploration beyond Earth's confines. Through joint missions, scientific exchanges, and collaborative research, these allies have leveraged China's expertise to unlock new frontiers in space, fostering a spirit of mutual growth and discovery. Today's episode will uncover China's strength through its allies in space exploration. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. If you're a fan of our videos, join our membership to get exclusive perks. Click Join button to learn more. Often regarded as Iron Brothers, China and Pakistan's friendship has just reached new heights in the space sector. Pakistan is now actively engaged in efforts to strengthen its collaboration with China in the field of space exploration, with a specific focus on the China-led International Lunar Research Station ILRS. During a recent visit to China's prestigious Deep Space Exploration Laboratory in Hefei, Amer Nadim, the esteemed chairman of Pakistan's space agency, Superco, expressed Pakistan's strong desire to not only determine its specific roles within the ILRS, but also to solidify a comprehensive cooperation agreement in the near future. The ILRS, a visionary project envisioned as a fully-fledged and enduring lunar base dedicated to scientific exploration, holds immense promise for shaping the future of space exploration. With an ambitious timeline set for completion by 2050, the ILRS aims to push the boundaries of scientific knowledge and human understanding of the lunar environment. During his visit, Nadim received in-depth briefings on the progress made in realizing this monumental lunar research station, engaging in extensive and constructive discussions with Wu Weiren, the chief designer of China's lunar exploration program and director of the Deep Space Exploration Laboratory. The warm reception from Wu Weirin resonated strongly with Pakistan's aspirations as he wholeheartedly welcomed Pakistan's full participation in the ILRS. Recognizing the significance of establishing a close and enduring partnership between Pakistan and the laboratory, Wu emphasized that Pakistan's involvement in the ILRS would serve as a shining example of collaborative efforts in building a shared future for humanity in the vast expanse of outer space. Pakistan's collaboration with China in the space sector spans an impressive three decades, highlighting the deep-rooted strategic partnership between the two nations. China has played an instrumental role in facilitating Pakistan's space exploration endeavor since 1992, enabling the development and successful launch of various satellites, including communication and remote sensing satellites. This long-standing collaboration was further cemented through a series of agreements signed in 2019 as part of China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. These agreements encompassed a range of initiatives, such as the training of Pakistani astronauts and their eventual journey into space, as well as granting Pakistan access to China's state-of-the-art Tiangong space station, orbiting the Earth in low Earth orbit. China's commitment to fostering collaboration extends far beyond Pakistan's borders. The China National Space Administration has been actively engaging in negotiations with more than 10 other countries, exploring potential avenues for their participation in the ILRS. Since the release of the ILRS roadmap in 2021, half a dozen nations and international organizations have expressed their interest through letters of intent or cooperation agreements underscoring the global recognition of China's leadership in the field of lunar research and exploration. 
As Pakistan positions itself at the forefront of the international space community, it's deepening collaboration with China in the realm of space exploration, specifically through participation in the ILRS, holds immense promise. By joining forces with other nations and forging robust partnerships, China and its allies, including Pakistan, are poised to unravel the mysteries of the moon, laying the groundwork for groundbreaking scientific discoveries and shaping the trajectory of human presence beyond Earth. Professor Dr. Rasha Mohammed Fathi Gonim, the head of the Space Research Laboratory of the Egyptian National Research Institute of Astronomy and Geophysics, NRIAG, has revealed that Egypt is collaborating with China to construct the second largest global monitoring station. This advanced facility will employ laser beams to effectively track satellites and space debris in outer space. The construction process has already begun, with the installation of the station's dome underway. The dome will serve as a shelter for two telescopes. China is set to provide Egypt with the first telescope, which has a diameter of 120 centimeters and is specifically designed for tracking space debris within the next six weeks. The second telescope, with a diameter of 70 centimeters, will be dispatched in August and will be dedicated to monitoring both space debris and satellites. It is estimated that the completion of the dome will take approximately two months. Once finished, another dome will be constructed at the station. Subsequently, a delegation of Chinese experts will be sent to Egypt to train the local engineers and technicians in operating the monitoring station. This training program will take place during the trial operation phase, which is scheduled to commence within two months. This recent announcement builds upon the 2022 mission statement issued by Professor Dr. Gad Mohammed El Qadi, the president of NRIAG. The mission statement outlined Egypt's ambitious plan to construct and launch a land-based station for the purpose of tracking artificial satellites and space debris. With the collaboration of China, Egypt is taking significant steps toward achieving its goal of becoming a prominent player in space research and monitoring. The Chinese government is actively supporting the aspirations and dreams of African individuals, particularly the youth in Nigeria, in their pursuit of a brighter future. A remarkable initiative was recently launched through the Shenzhou 16 manned spaceflight mission, which will host the first ever international painting exhibition on the China space station. The exhibition will showcase artwork created by African teenagers from 10 different African countries, including Algeria, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, Egypt, Madagascar, Mali, Mauritius, Nigeria, Somalia, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. The inspiration for this exhibition came from the Tiangong Dialogue Talk with Taikonauts event held in September 2022, where young Africans engaged in conversations with Chinese astronauts, expressing their keen interest in space and aerospace. Subsequently, the Chinese follow-up committee on the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation FOCAC, and China Manned Space Engineering organized a painting competition in March with the theme My Dream specifically targeting African teenagers and children. Jing Haipeng, the mission commander for the upcoming Shenzhou 16 manned spaceflight mission, expressed the significance of this endeavor, stating that the mission's objective is to exhibit international paintings on the China space station for the first time, featuring outstanding artworks from the Tianhe Award, bestowed upon young participants from the 10 African countries. Jing Haipeng further expressed his anticipation for the brilliant artwork, emphasizing that the exploration of the vast universe is a shared pursuit and dream of all humanity, transcending race, age, and geographical boundaries. He affirmed China's commitment to collaborating with peace-loving individuals worldwide to create a better future. The intention behind showcasing these paintings in space is to carry the essence of children's enthusiasm, friendship, and dreams, and sow the seeds of science, friendship, and aspirations on the China space station, allowing them to take root, flourish, and bear fruit. On the first day of 2022, the Shenzhou 13 crew, which has been residing and working in China's space station, presented paintings created by children from across China. During the event, they engaged in a video conference with student representatives from Beijing, Hong Kong, and Macau.
they displayed paintings where the 10 winning entries from the competition, representing the final selection from the prestigious Tianhe Award. These artworks will now be exhibited for the first time on the China Space Station. Jing Heipeng reiterated that exploring the vast universe is a shared aspiration and dream of all humanity, irrespective of their race, age, or geographical location. China is committed to joining hands with peace-loving individuals to create a better tomorrow. He emphasized that the space station will carry the best aspirations, friendships, and dreams of children, planting the seeds of science, friendship, and dreams, allowing them to take root, grow, bloom, and bear fruit. The My Dream Painting Competition for African Youth received over 2,000 submissions from young Africans, among which 50 outstanding paintings were selected. Later this year, the competition hosts will organize an award ceremony and extend invitations to some of the prize winners to visit China. With much about China's strength through its allies in space covered, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we'll cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we'll see you in the next one.